Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a horizontal navigation menu for a web page, but I want to use an unordered list. Let's see how that might work. Now, I do have a blank page set up. You can see it's just got a generic header on there. Um, let's head over to the HTML. And what I want you to kind of imagine here is we do have, or let's write it this way, unordered list with um, list items and within there, anchors. Let's multiply that by five. Okay, so we've got an unordered list with a series of hyperlinks, but let's go ahead and put in some generic menu text too. That should be enough for the HTML side of things. Um, now, of course, when I look at this here, we have our, our vertical list, so we can kind of see where that is. Now, the reason things are pushed off, off to the side like that is because I do have a reset rule already set. So let's go ahead and start to style things. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a class on this. Class equals nav menu, just in case we were to have other unordered lists on the page. So now, unordered list dot nav menu. Let's make sure we can really see where this is gonna be. I'm gonna give it a background color that is yellow green. And uh, how about a min height? Yeah, I'll set the height specifically. I'll set the height to be 80 pixels. And we're easily gonna see where that unordered list is. Now, by the way, I didn't use a nav tag, but an unordered list is a block element. Nav tag is a block element. So there's really no advantage in my simple layout here to use another parent like a nav tag surrounding this unordered list. Not a bad habit though. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's get these list items side by side. Now I'm gonna do one really quick thing just so you can see how that might look. And I'm gonna take my unordered list, nav menu, list items, and I'm going to float them to the left. Now when I do that, now you can see them side by side. And of course I can get rid of the bullets, I can do, you know, make them uh, different shapes and stuff. But by default, they wanna be vertical oriented and they're taking up the full width. But when you put a float on there, they go side by side and that could be what you want. And then there's a couple of techniques we might use to center it. For instance, I might narrow the width of the unordered list and then I could center that block in the space. However, let's do something other than float to get those list items centered the way we want. And before I do that, let's go ahead and make sure we can easily see them. So I got rid of the float on the list items and I'm gonna give them a background color that's kind of dark. And I'm gonna put a little bit of margin on them as well, just so they're kind of separated. And now you can just see those dark rectangles up there. And once again, they're all vertically oriented. Let's try to center them this way though. I'm gonna take their nav menu parent, the unordered list, and make it display flex. Just putting display flex on there is gonna get them side by side. That's a pretty quick and easy way to go. And then I can follow that up with something like um, justify content center. That's a uh, flex box property. And there you go, they're centered. And you're, you could be thinking, well, gee, it looks, you know, it's pretty good. Of course, it doesn't look very like menu buttons, but we can clean that up easy enough. Uh, for instance, I could go to my list items down here, list style type none, that's gonna get rid of those bullets on there. And then I could do something like unordered list, nav menu, space anchor. So I wanna control the anchors that are within my nav menu. And what I like to do with these, for instance, if you notice now, I have to mouse over the actual text on the button to get the hyperlink. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna make those anchor tags into blocks. Anchors are an inline element, but I'm gonna display them as a block. I'm gonna set their width to be 100% and their height to be 100% of their parent. Each anchor has a list item as a parent. So now the anchor is gonna be as big as the list item. And notice I can put my pointer anywhere on the big gray button, basically, to get that hyperlink status. And of course I could make uh, color, bright white, and font size, 1.5 Ms. And while I'm here, let's also go ahead and throw in text decoration none. And I also like to do a line height. 
Now I'm going to pick a line height of about 75 pixels. I'm picking that because I know that my nav menu is about 80 pixels and I want to, I'm going to start with 75 and that'll kind of give me uh, the illusion here of some vertical centering and I could probably dial this back to maybe 68 pixels and it looks a little bit better to me. Now if I want to increase the amount of space around that text, that's no problem either. I can go to my anchors here and I can add some padding maybe zero pixels of padding on the top and the bottom, but then something like 12 pixels of padding on the left and the right. And there we go. We have a simple horizontal navigation menu that's centered in the space, but this time our menu is in an unordered list and all we're doing really is making that unordered list behave as a Flexbox parent. Therefore, all the list items are Flex children, and that gets them horizontal across the page. Thanks for hanging out with me.